Hello, good morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you actually can um, import a 3D model from Blender and put it into Gary's mod like a player model or a ragdoll. You also need, uh, you need to install different programs to uh, do certain things. So here's the list of what you need to download. So you'll need each and every one of the components here to fully completely like you know make do what you want to do <laughs> let's start with the first thing now the first thing is you actually want to do is um, like you want to have you want to copy like an already existing model from the workshop yeah here it is uh, this is the um, it's from riot control he made it uh, so what the first thing you want to do is actually um, import or download the model uh, when you did this you need to uh, launch Gary's mod one time and that's a very important step because it needs to uh, you know um, extract the file in Gary's mod so you need to only just boot it up once let the you know thing underneath extract it and then you can close it um, after that you need to actually go to the uh, file directory of Gary's mod uh, one of the ways to do it if you know the file path you can always search it but you can also go here to settings and um, go to and one of these buttons it should say uh, search to local files so you want to click on that and there is a local file so here you have the uh, Garry's mod directory now what you want to do is find that uh, add-on and by me is in Garry's mod Garry's mod and then add-ons um, now you gotta look for it it was called if I was right yeah Captain Sao Fengkai Pouskerbin you want to copy this you want to go one back, two back. You want to go to the bin and actually paste it in here. I already did it, as you can see. So you want to paste it here. Now the first uh, program you're gonna need is GMAT Easy Add-on Extractor. You want to actually put the .exe file you downloaded from the zip file. You want to put it in here and then double click it. So here you can see I have a couple of uh, GMA files I, w I did first. So uh, you should say no because for maps you should say yes. But we want a model so no and en enter. Enter so then it would be extracted and this is the file you have. And what you want to do is um, you want to paste this onto your desktop. So now we have this thing on our desktop so if we would open this up you have Lua, Outrun, you have materials, models and here are the VMT VTF files you need to create them yourself later on or you can copy them if you want to reuse them and here you have the uh, like the, the, the regular files so the second tool you want to make use of is the um, crowbar um, I'm using the the crowbar you cannot find all the um, programs in the description or you can search other YouTube channels or on Google how to download them so when you're first uh, load up to it uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to put the executable file to this uh, to Half-Life 2 like in file directory um, yeah and also you want to make sure that these are also right so you have game info like this and your like the programs are should be like the studio ml half life um, hammer like all these programs you need to double click on them to actually yeah system execute by five for steam also once you have done this you go into the decompile tab um, now what you want to do is you want to make sure you check the folders and subfolders go to browse um, 
like go to desktop we had uh, oh not download go to desktop we had this file remember now you want to go into models player and then you want to double click the mdl file now it has the mdl file in here and you want to output it to a work folder yes so uh the work folder is like where you want to extract it so let's say oh wait so uh, actually no you want to create a new folder i was wrong um but call this uh what am i call it? yeah model and then the compiled you can name this everything uh, you want look i don't care i had a typo but i don't care all right so now it's going to extract to that if you've done anything or everything correctly you can press now on decompile and it will now change the uh, mdl file like it's one what it's going to do is like uh change uh, the things in the folders and yeah so so blender actually can read it but yeah it's, it's already finished so now you want to go back to desktop now you have the captain cell and you have uh, the model decompiled so you want to open up model decompiled and now you have these files you can uh, click this away if you want so now you have these files what you need to know now um, so yeah um, you can create your own 3d model and you can uh, also import one what you want you need to um, follow the rights of the site so you have a license and you need to know uh, like um, give credit to the um, guy who made it so uh, download 3d model for me it's like you have an obg file and that's correct so once I open the obg file seems like it has these paths uh, why is this um, let me actually see why no you know, that, that's right so you have these files and you actually want to you want to paste them like on your desktop or any map you can open it with blender so now you have these files these are the textures of the model as you can see which we're gonna need uh, later on first off you wanna actually open up in blender so go to a file import and uh, you want to open up an obg file so go to download uh, no I had it on desktop go to 3d model which I did you want to open up the obg file so now it has <laughs> loaded our model Dora very awesome you can press Z to change if you don't see colors just to make sure now what we're actually gonna need is the extracted file uh, oh no also you need to uh, import this in uh, this uh, add-on in the um, blender and you can find it on the internet everywhere so you need that to download to find that add-on um, so yeah now you want to go to uh, the decompiled file and you have you have the point SMD like nothing behind it not the QC file not the physics file only uh, this one if you have multiple um, yeah I don't know you should get the right one as you can see our model is uh, <laughs> way bigger so we should make our oh the different meshes I don't like that um, press ctrl and G to actually join the whole mesh like now it's one mesh so it's joined so ctrl plus G you do th uh, that way uh, yeah now I want to scale this so you can scale it up like this um, yeah we're still gonna need, change, need to change skeleton so delete this model not the skeleton so you can rename the skeleton like um, let's say uh, Dora skeleton uh, zero one or something so now you have the mesh 
like this no i don't want to change that and you have the um the skeleton of the thing what you first need to do is uh, align the skeleton with the model you have to um, like get the skeleton right so you want to go to edit mode not post mode yet so now you're in skeleton mode you gotta yeah you gotta know the positions so if I so I'm just gonna position this And we are almost done, I guess. Well, it's not perfect. It, it could be better, but well, you know, I don't want to. I'm just trying to show you how to do it. So now the skeleton is right. I'm going to go to um, pose mode. Um, click on the model. Uh, no, no, click object mode, click on the model, shift, so hold shift and then click on the skeleton. Press now control plus P, no control plus P, and then you want to go with automated, automatic weights. So now it's gonna, um, yeah, join the skeleton with the model. Let's see. To know uh, if you did it right, uh, go to pose mode, like, um, Check one pose and change the play. Look at that. Look at that. It works. <laughs> hey, how was it doing? So uh, now we know it works. Uh, put it back to object mode. Um, so now the model is actually done. We want to uh, extract it actually. Yeah. So uh, how do I extract it? You want to go to the... Uh, what is it? The... Um, yeah the scene tab so you have tab for the scene uh, make sure you have the object mode and select it both the thing so we want to change it from dmx to smd oh yeah you gotta put the file path of gary's mod in there i'm just gonna do it the fast way uh just a sec so you wanna actually go to the gary's mod folder once again or you can navigate it in here um, so you want to go to the uh, what's it the engine path and this is the engine so X uh, no I got it wrong is it in Gary's mod no and then it should be in bin yep uh, so Gary's mod and then bin uh, export path that's where you want to export it let's do desktop once more and yeah let's just accept it uh change the name of the collection to change the name of the file you're gonna say so let's say i do uh you know dora um dora mat ain what no just dora mat there we go uh export it so everything yeah so you can see dora mat export so and then oh i did select it select the skeleton and the model export to doramed.smd click on it so now it has exported uh, go to your desktop once more and there you have it there's the smd file doramed.smd so you want to go up here you're gonna place it into the model decompile folder where you have decompiled your model so now what you want to do is, um, and you put it in here, what you want to actually do is, 
you're gonna need another program and that is called notepad plus plus so you need to download and install notepad notepad plus plus otherwise it wouldn't work so uh, what you now want to do is delete this file the SMD file and um, now you actually want to make this regular and everything so you actually want to change all the names here you know physics you want to uh, keep the physics but rename all the names here uh, to the name you want you can think of everything but keep it the same way otherwise it wouldn't work so next up uh, is the uh, QC file and what you want to do is edit it with notepad now uh, the difficult part comes and that uh, I have been <laughs> have a lot of problems with this you want to change everything you see here to uh, the right name so as you can see you have every everywhere here Dora Matt um, oh, like that you don't want to make any mistakes otherwise you could get an error and uh, yeah that, that, that's really not what you want to have so we have this CD materials want to remember this uh, folder for uh, so actually it goes to the material folder molders and Dora Matt, but it comes later on uh, to export when exporting the textures uh, let's see do we have more do we have more um, I see here another here go uh, there's another one for the rec doll oh wrong one <laughs> Dora Matt you, so you need to change all these um, this is alright here change once more right um, let's see I guess that's about it let me double check uh, yeah I think that's it so yeah we got everything now click on save or control s like save it so now you have made the decompiled model the right way uh, which means you can actually you need to open crowbar once more you know the program where you decompiled now you gotta go to compile and here you should um, get the right folder once more so uh, w look at the folder we made it was um, uh, we put it in this no 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 that's the compiled one model decompiled and we have the QC file and you want to open the QC file in the compile tab uh, also make sure you have folders and subfolders um, uh, checked on uh, that's correct that's correct uh, let's output it to desktop once more uh, can we change a name now you know what make a new name look it was called this right the original one so uh, let's just make a new map and call it uh, Dora Matt Compi compiled sorry if I have a typo I don't, I don't really care <laughs> So it's gonna export that in the web and compile. So now, if you have everything correctly, click compile. So finished, no errors. Oh, I do have errors. Wait a sec. Uh, let's see here. Uh, could not load file. Uh, Dora met enemies. Let's see if I did that right, Dora. I don't think I did anything wrong here. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Look at this. This is my mistake. It's Dora Matt. That's what I did wrong. You see, if you forget a little thing, it, yeah, it uh, gives error. Look at that. Look at that. It's compiled. Nice. 
Now you can escape this once more. Uh, go to the not the decompiled. Go out of there and go to the compiled folder. Now you have models player, and here is the files you want. Um. Okay. Now, now what you want to do is create uh, the folders for uh for the like. Now you gotta complete the whole everything. So you wanna make some maps make lua make auto run put auto run in lua uh what did i had as oh yeah materials and materials hold up let me check what i had in materials i had models dora mat so um make them all the models Dora Matt and um, yeah we can now put in this uh, the texture files um, depends on I had an issue with that before but you have to make sure uh, that you use the textures that come with the file if you get errors or problems using that, that that's really annoying i had the same thing i, I just quit like that um anyway <sighs> open up the your, the other program you downloaded vtf edit once you're in this uh program go to import uh you want to go to this path actually go back to vtf edit control v just to make fast uh, let's start with the first one. I think this is the body. Yes. Um, press OK. Uh, you want to make sure you go back to Blender and check the name of uh, check the name of these the two materials. So you have. Oh wait, did I actually change it? T yeah it's, it's different here so you want to copy this uh, I think yeah that's fine. so you want to uh, make sure you have the right name on the right uh, material and name this you need to name the files as shown like there so um, wait I already opened it with VTF let me actually reopen it just to be sure. So new, uh, yeah. All right. Let's start with the body. So probably everything is right here. Go to save and save it. Exact. Hey, perfect. Doramat compiled materials models Doramat, and now you want to name the exact same name. Uh, which one did I open actually? It's the body, right? Body was yeah. Okay, so you want to copy the exact same name, or yeah, actually VTF is not really necessary, honestly. So you can already delete the PNG file. Now you have the. Oh, well, actually, met, let's make it for the other one as well. Let's actually make it like this. Yes, save. Uh, yeah. With this is perfect. So now you have two VTF files. Uh, what you actually now going to do is open up uh, them once more. I know you just opened them. You want to go to tools and create a VMT file. And that's actually that makes the oh yeah, change the light map generic to vertex. Uh, also uncheck translucent um, and that's actually gonna change this name you have to definitely not change it like it has to be the same you, you can still play with VTF that's alright but this one you have to make sure that if you change the VMT file name then you're screwed let's say that uh, make for the other one as well so translucent off uh, creates 
Uh, yes, same name, same thing, and perfect. Now we have created the texture files, uh, models, materials, uh, and we want to open up the another folder like the other decompiled. Look, go back to your desktop and open up the original decomp. Uh, the original compiled folder so now you want to um, copy the Lua file in the auto run so you want to paste it here uh, of course change the name Dora Matt, or whatever you have add it with notepad and now you want to change it also here in notepad Dora Matt, uh, Dora Matt. Uh, once here, more here. Doramat. Let's see, model player. Let's actually see if that's right. Model players Doramat. Do we have that? Model players. No, we don't have that. We need to wait. Where is this? Oh, no, no, this is the MDF file. Oh, that's right. That's right. Keep it like this. This, this is correct. Once again, save, like, save, escape. So now you're actually, yeah, you're actually done or not. Let, let's check if we did everything right. Yep, that seems right. Models, player, models, player. Hey, we just did it, man. So this is your whole file. Uh, to test it, you can um, let's. I always use crowbar to quickly navigate to the. Uh, wait, I I changed the path. Well, that's. Wait, okay, there we go. Well, I had it set on Gary's mod, so I used that shortcut. But just go to the binary of Gary's mod once again. Mm, this is the completed file and go to Gary's mod add-ons and copy this file in your add-ons folder. So now you have the... I'm gonna skip the other thing. So now you have the map in the add-ons folder. If you want to check if it worked, go to bin and you have a HLMV program standard on your uh, Gary's mod. I don't know if you don't have it, I don't know. So file load model and once more you want to actually navigate to yeah the folder. I put a Gary's mod add-ons and here is uh, the file. So open is asking for an MDL file and the MDL file is in models and you put it here. <coughs> open it up. Look at that. Look at that. Ain't it perfect? Th this is completely the model. It's still missing textures. I think usually if you the textures should work, but sometimes they don't show up on by me. Maybe my program is a bit broken. So yeah, we did the, the full thing. If you want to check if it totally worked, just escape it. Uh, you can save Blender if you want. Um, yeah, I could do that. Dormat, save Blender file, escape, uh, escape now everything. And you can start up Gary's mod. So yeah. Now can actually see uh, and try if the model works. <laughs> I hope. Uh, oh yeah, let the uh, underneath thing. Well, so yeah, start your new game. Uh, do the GM construct or uh, the other one if you want to. So yeah, cool. We're in the map, as you can see. Let's actually 
see if it worked. See player model. This is the latest I've imported. Uh, let's see if it worked. Hey, look at that. It has been. <laughs> Alright, let me let, let me put the camera up there. Oh, I'm so happy it worked. This is my first player model I made. Sakatagin Toki. So uh, you gotta actually die once. To <laughs> So, did it? Hello? Hey, <laughs> there we go. We have our player model. Let's fucking go. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, this, wow, this is actually pretty perfect. This is pretty nice, man. So, yeah, w we just did it, man. Uh, let's see if the rec tools also here. Dora Mat. Uh, yeah, I have a big library in my spawn menu. There we go. We have the rectal as well. <laughs> so you can uh, you can pick it up, you know. <laughs> yeah, the game. Uh, there we go. Perfect, right? Let's make let's make a screenshot actually. Like uh, let's, let's pose it a little bit like this. Make screenshot. Uh, camera. Perfect. So there we did it. Now that 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 was the tutorial. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope I could help you. I uh, it took me 20 hours to do the first one. And it's uh, yeah. Well, actually, the first one didn't work out, but the second one did. You gotta make sure with the textures. It's it's really difficult. Um, know what you do um so yeah goodbye thank you for watching